Hello students you are warmly welcome to my youtube channel education wmh in this video i am going to discuss a grade 6 maths second term test paper for the upcoming term test so i invite you to subscribe my channel and watch more videos first question select and underline the closed rectilinear plane figures what are closed rectilinear plane figures rectilinear means they have to be bounded only by straight line segments so the first figure we can't take it has a curved line segment then second one it is correct bounded by four straight line segments third one also incorrect uh, we have a curved line segment uh, also in the third one then fourth one correct then number 5 incorrect uh, although it has a uh, straight line segments it is not it's, it's not a closed plane figure it is a open plane figure so a uh, second question write down the number this number in a standard form and write the name of the number in words Uh, we can separate this like uh, this is median son then we have to uh, put a small gap here then again a small gap this is the thousand son then uh, other three digits in the unit son so how to uh, name this how to name the number 43 Million forty three million six hundred and fourteen thousand six hundred and fourteen thousand forty. Number three. Join two points on the circle given in the figure and measure the length and write it down. Um, we can join the. We are given the figure like this. P, Q, then R, T, S, then Y is here, then X is here. So uh, the only two points on the circle are P and Q. You have to join these two points P Q like this, and measure this distance by using a straight edge. Question number four. Simplify. We are given this to simplify. Five hundred sixty-eight multiplied by thirty-seven. We have to multiply by each digit here. Seven times eight. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Then the remaining is five. Then seven times uh, six. Sixty-three uh, plus five is sixty-eight. Then the remaining is six. Seven times five, thirty-five. Thirty-five plus uh, six is forty-one. Then now we have to multiply by three. Three times eight is twenty-four. Uh, Two is remaining. Three times six, eighteen plus two is twenty. Two is remaining again. Three times five, fifteen plus two is seventeen. Now we have to add these two numbers. Six. Twelve. Then one goes to the other side. Then one plus one is uh, two. Seven plus uh, four eleven. Then one goes to the other side. So the addition is uh, two. Then the number is answer here twenty one thousand two hundred twenty six. Question number five. Mark the integers between minus two and plus three. On the number line given below, this is the number line given for us. I'll draw it. Minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. Then one, two, three, two, three, four. Then what are the integers between minus two and uh, plus three? 
the first one is minus 1 then 0 then 1 2 only the, these four integers question number 6 a compound solid is made by pasting two cubes of edges 7 cm each such that two faces coincide each other in the new solid what is the new solid obtained here by pasting two uh, identical uh, cubes we can uh, form a cuboid so uh, first question what is the number of edges in a cuboid we have 12 edges then second part what is the number of vertices in a cuboid we have 8 vertices question number 7 mark uh, 150 pm on a clock face what is the angle made clockwise between the hour and and the minutes hand if i mark it like this we can mark uh, this uh, 150 1 then 50 is here so if i mark this angle this is the angle clockwise so what is the type of this angle this is a reflex angle we can uh, write the name of the angle as reflex angle then question number 8 Write down the numbers denoted by each abacus given below. In the first abacus, what is the number? Uh, tens rod, we have three counters. Then in one rod, no counters. So, uh, first one, 30 point. Then in uh, tens rod, we have five counters. Five, then the last rod, two. So, 30 point, five, two is the decimal number represented by the first abacus here then in the second abacus tens rod we have six counters then in ones rod one counter so 61 point next rod zero counters so zero last rod again three these are the two decimal numbers question number nine Diniti who came home after school spent 25 minutes on lunch and 1 hour and 45 minutes on play activities. Show the total uh, time, uh, show the total time she spent on both activities in minutes. We have to take the addition of these uh, two times. Hours minutes for the first activity 25 minutes then the second one one hour 45 let's take the addition first uh, here the addition is 70 so we can't uh, keep uh, 70 here then remaining 10 minutes we have to take 60 minutes to the hours side as one hour so the addition is two hours now 2 hours uh, 10 minutes is the answer but we have to keep it in minutes. Uh, 1 hour means 60 minutes then 2 hours means um, 120 minutes. 120 plus uh, 10 means 130. This is in minutes. Question number 10. Separate the following items into two groups and write a suitable name for each group. We are given two circles here. Uh, first one, triangle. Then 
then second one cube cube is a solid so uh, i'll uh, write it on the write it in the second circle then tetrahedron that is also a solid tetrahedron then next one circle next trapezium it is a shape then cuboid cuboid is a solid then parallelogram last one cylinder then what are the special names that we can give, uh, give for these two groups these are shapes then these are solids or plane figures uh, we can uh, name it shapes or the special name can be given as plane figures plane figures question number 11 the fourth square number is obtained by adding two consecutive triangular numbers draw the uh, draw those two triangular numbers on the blanks using diagrams of dots what is the fourth square number that is 16 uh, so uh, if we take the two triangular numbers we can add the third triangular number and the fourth triangular number third one is 6 we can use this dot pattern for that um, then the fourth triangular number is 10 So these are the two triangular numbers. This is equal to 60. Question number 12. Show 2 liters, 5 milliliters in milliliters. 2 liter can be converted into milliliters as 2000 milliliters. And why is 1 liter equal to 1000 milliliters? So this is 2000 milliliters. Then plus 5 milliliters. Then the addition is 2005 milliliters. Question number 13. Mark a tick for the correct statements and cross for the incorrect statements. Part 1. When an even number is subtracted from an odd number, the result is an odd number. Let's take an even number, uh, 6. 6 is an even number. So, let's take uh, 3 as an odd number. 6 minus 3 is 3. That is also an odd number. So, first one is correct. Then, second part. When an even number is multiplied by an odd number, the result is an odd number. Uh, even number 2. Then, uh, let's take 5 as an odd number. 2 times 5 is 10. That is an even number. That is an even number. So, this statement is incorrect. Question number 14. When the marks that Tarindu received for mathematics were rounded off to the nearest multiple of 10, the value obtained was 80. Write down all the possible values that the marks Tarindu received can take. Uh, when rounded off to the uh, nearest uh, multiple of 10, 80, the possible values can take from 75, 75, then 76, 77, 78, 79, then 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. We have to stop here. If it is goes to 85, uh, it should be rounded off to 90. Question number 15. Show the answer obtained by simplifying. We are given this. 3 over 10 plus 4 over 10. First one as a uh, fraction. 
as the denominators are equal here we can add the two numerators so 3 plus 4 is 7 so the first one answer is 7 over 10 as a fraction then second part as a decimal number we can write this as a decimal number 0 0.7 then question number 16 draw a suitable net to uh, create a model of a regular tetrahedron to create a regular tetrahedron we can use this net all these are equilateral triangles Question number 17, write down the composite numbers from 1 to 10. Uh, what are the composite numbers? Composite numbers means the numbers with more than two factors. So the uh, first composite number is uh, 4. 4 is the first composite number. 4. Then 6, then uh, 8, 9, 10. As we are given from uh, 1 to 10, we can uh, also take 10 here. Question number 18. Fill in the following blanks, uh, blanks using the symbols greater than, less than, no, equal appropriately. First one we are given 15 centimeters and 150 millimeters 1 centimeter equal to 10 millimeters so 15 centimeter equal to 150 millimeters this is equal 0 0.60 meters then here 0 0.06 meters uh, if we consider these two decimal numbers the first decimal in the first decimal places here we have the digit 6 here 0 so this one is the largest one we have to use this sign question number 19 the path that mihili followed from her house to temple is shown in the rough uh, diagram given below this is the diagram given for us uh, first question, to which direction did she turn at the point Q on the way uh, to temple from house? From Q, she have to uh, turn to southwest direction. So the first blank we have to uh, write southwest Then second question, the temple is located to the blank of the point R. Uh, with the point R, temple is located to, uh, to the west, west of the point R. Second blank, west. Question number 20, a piece of a ribbon of 75 centimeters was cut and removed from a ribbon of one and a half length meters length show the uh, remaining part in meters we have to write the remaining part in meters uh, first we will convert uh, one, one and a half meters into centimeters that is equal to 150 centimeters minus 75 centimeters then the remaining uh, length is 75 centimeters. Then if we convert this into uh, meters, we have to divide this by 100. 75 over 100. As 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters. This is in meters. Uh, we can uh, give, it in a, give it as a decimal number 0 0.75 meters. 